Okay, YouTubers, I'm back with another video. Not so much abandoned, but I really like trains. So, and obviously, there's kind of a like for uh, junk cars. But today, I'm in back in the Norfolk Southern Yard doing a thing about wrecked train cars. Ones that have been in accidents. It is a lovely day, by the way. Wearing a light leather jacket. And the one from the Bane movie. Well, a replica of what he was wearing, but black. But anyways, figured I'd come down here so you can tell where this car was obviously dragged through a tunnel or something. And they weren't paying attention to the height restrictions. So... Yeah, and there's a few other ones I'm going to get to when I get done with this video. There's also some cars down here for repairs that I'm going to try to get in the video. I know it's not abandoned, but I like trains. Uh, I've always liked the rail box box cars. Just like the look of them and that emblem for some reason. But you can tell right there where the damage is and then inside the car where it was obviously drug. I'm a little bit closer to uh, their shops than I like to be on this video, especially in broad daylight. Whether this car will be scrapped or fixed it looks like this one will probably just be a write off but over there we got where about the same thing happened to a Conrail car and it was drugged through and then I saw down here it, it didn't make the news or anything but just in passing because I passed this place like almost every day that somebody after that had happened went up into this car while it had vehicles in it and tried to drive them out of this thing through the uh, doors and everything. And I saw like Norfolk Southern Police down here and everything. The cars were demolished. I'm talking about the cars inside of them. So yeah. I will be getting into this. Now this is my favorite former train corporation. It's still my favorite Conrail. But I will be getting inside for a better view. These cars will definitely be scrapped. There's no doubt about it. They've already cut the doors out. Took the cars that were inside of it out of it. It's a shame. I sure would like to have that right there when they destroy these because there is no chance they're going to be able to fix that. Man, it is a nice day and I'm hot because of this jacket. But if you look here, you can see where uh, they tried to drive the cars out of this place. I don't know anything about trains, but like, they have doors on them. I don't even know how you would go about getting something like that open. I guess they would, they fit, the thieves figured that it would be brute force because. They drove through here, and then, like, I don't know what they were thinking, because this coupler's here, I guess they figured they'd shoot through it and over it, but that didn't work out too well for them. And, like, oh, you can see all the damage from it, too. We're not talking about smart criminals, because... You know, what were you expecting? To steal a vehicle out of this? Destroy it and still be able to drive it for what? After you bust the radiator, a car ain't going to last too much longer. 
Yeah, but see here, I think they may have tried to back out of it or take the cars out of the other one back there and push into this, or maybe that was just an initial accident. These people we're talking about were not too smart. Just look at all that. Here, I have an old uh, car. I'm not sure about the marker. Well, I passed it earlier. I think they're going to repair this. I don't know. It may outlive its life. I'm not going to try to walk on this because I already hear it cracking under my feet. But it's an old Norfolk and Western car. Trying to look for date on it. Seventy-nine. This one's old. I mean, I can tell just by how uh, the brake is on this thing. This is an old, old car. Those doors look open to me, so I'm not going to venture too far. But that one said, oh, I'm prepared for home shops down there. Rebody 95, built date 81. Try not to get caught by the railroad police. Yeah, I'd like to get up there, but I'm not going to risk falling. i got to carry my phone. Oh, who knows? I'd have to swing up and in. I want to do it just to get up there, but then again, I don't feel like falling. But again, you can see like broken pieces of the cars up there. Obviously, they were trying to do it from the second story of this. What, you're going to take and drive a car off the second story of these? It's got to be like every bit of, I'm six foot five, so I'd be at least 18 feet in the air. Well, maybe that's about 12 from the second one. This one seems to have a little bit more clearance, but see, they had to cut the doors off this because it doesn't look like anything's folded back into the car, although, yeah, this might, yeah, this, I think this is the door, so this car right here might be salvageable. I don't know. Doubt me. I mean, it looks salvageable. All slope stuff. All friction vapor blade. Bad order. I'm not too sure, but I think when a car turns out to where it says bad order, it won't be a car uh, too much longer beer can or something see that's why it's so important to get out here also on this uh train car here well this uh one right here it says bad orders norfolk and western but also you can see here on this car it's got significant damage right there to the pillar of the car so yeah here we have an old Conrail core. I've seen an old uh, southern looking car over there, so yeah. I'm thinking that and, uh, these cars, you know, 
are not going to, like I said, I'm thinking that all these cars over here, because they're all sectioned off, more than likely are going to be scrap, see? Repair. Scrap. I think this is their scrap, their scrap, uh, cars. These are really big coal cars. They're not your average coal cars. If you know anything more about these than me, feel free to tell me. These actually look in good condition. Something dead over here because he keeps circling. Home shop for repair. Do not load. Well, obviously that's good for that one. Here, this one's not looking too good. It's a big gouge. These are heavy duty cars. I wonder how that would happen. You look over there, that's the caboose I did in another video. <clears throat> Here we have an old Penn Central car. You can tell by the PC on it. Fifty-year life AAR rule. Eighty-eight. Seventy-two. I don't even really want to make this video, but honestly, I'm uh, running out of stuff to film around here. Another bad order. Yeah, this one's definitely old. Look at it. Built 36. A Southern car built in 1936. I know one of my uh, subscribers and Facebook friends will like this. No, it's not a Polish box car, but... Around here, this is about as good as you're going to get with old southern paint on it. All right, look at that. You can make it out to a degree, but it's the Conrail with a Q. That old Conrail quality uh, logo. Trucks something. Unhopped. Eighty. 
another bad order. Yeah, I figured I'd come out here and uh, record all this because these cars might not be around too much longer. But I think all these cars down here might, some of them might be fixable, but I doubt it. These are a whole thing of green cars. All right, viewers, thanks for thanks as always for subscribing and click the like button feel free to subscribe if you're not thank you